Remember the charity, a point that we forget. It is for Allah. It's just that Allah's put a poor person to collect it on his behalf. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Think about it. So when I have a charity in my hands, I need to tell myself I'm giving this for the sake of Allah. This is Allah that I'm reaching out to because he wants me to reach out to him by giving food to a poor person. That's what it is. When you think that way, you will automatically be respectful in the way you treat others. Don't throw money at someone. Give it to them. Don't throw a coin at a beggar. Give it to the, the beggar respectfully and pray for the beggar and pray that the Almighty accept it from you. Allah says the real beggars are those, and this is now the etiquette of those who are poor. They are from amongst us many who are suffering, many who are struggling. They are in crisis. And Allah says the true beggars or the true poor people are those whom others think that they're not even poor. Why? Because they have self-respect. That's why if you can search for those in need and spend on them, spend on those who don't beg, whom you know this person is in need, but their honor, their dignity, their level, their respect, their self-respect does not allow them to come and ask me. Let me give them without them asking and I will make them feel so good about it. You know, so you give someone a gift and it happened so respectfully. You expect nothing in return. Why is it that in the modern world, many people spend, yes, but they expect in return from the people or from the person. They want something back. At times, something immoral. They want it back. Where are those who fear Allah enough to give others and still consider themselves fortunate for having been chosen to give. So give in a good cause. Search for those who are in need, for indeed by reaching out to them, you will achieve a lot of goodness. They will pray for you from the bottom of their hearts. They will ask the Almighty to bless you further. They pray for you without you knowing simply because you reached out to them at the time of their need. So they thanked Allah by praying for you too. Wow, look at how we would achieve comfort without even knowing that there was a crisis heading for us and Allah diverted it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.